Order of Operations Part 3 In this film we'll see a new level of challenge as you build your skill with the Order of Operations, the mathematical delight of brackets within brackets. But first, a quick note about brackets. They always occur in pairs, they are used to group things together and, of course, brackets take top priority in math. In my first two films on order of operations, I used these rounded brackets. Do you remember their other name? Parentheses. More tricky to say than brackets and harder to spell. Means the same thing though. I could also use these square brackets or these curly brackets. All of these are brackets. And you've been doing bed mass problems, so you know it's brackets first. Brackets of any description. Here's a problem that has brackets within brackets. 60 divided by 3 times 2 squared minus 5 plus 6 times 5 divided by 7 squared. How are we going to think our way through this one? Just so you know, one set of brackets inside another set of brackets is called nested brackets and the key to handling them is simple and logical. With nested brackets we start at the innermost set of brackets and work our way outwards, all the time keeping to the order of operations rules. That makes sense, so let's get to it and find out. Is this as tricky as it looks at first glance? Brackets first. We have two sets of nested brackets. Start here with these inner brackets. 3 times 2 is 6 and the inner brackets are done. Let's put in the rest of the terms in that bracket group including the exponent that belongs with it. Minus, over here, the inner brackets are 5 plus 6 times 5. We know we do multiplication before addition, so 6 times 5 is 30, and put in the remaining elements. Next line down, and I still have a bit of this inner bracket left to do. 5 plus 30 is 35, and put in the remaining elements. Now it isn't scary at all, is it? Next we resolve those outer brackets. We have 60 divided by 6. Easy! 10 times 6 is 60, put in the exponent that belongs here with the 10. And over here we have 35 divided by 7. 5 times 7 is 35 and put in the exponent. And now that we've done all the brackets, we do the exponents next. 10 squared, the factor 10 used two times. 10 times 10 is 100, minus 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. 100 minus 25 is 75 and we're done. That went along very nicely. Any problem with multiple operations can look tricky. But you know, it is something you can handle when you keep your cool and apply your bed mass knowledge. And when you know you have to start with those innermost brackets and work your way out. You can do it! I just demonstrated nested brackets by using different kinds of brackets because it helps you to see the priority items more easily, the centre brackets and their contents. But student textbooks may stick to just using parentheses. Look again, here's what we started with before I coloured up the inner brackets. And if I show it in textbook black ink, here it is again. I think the use of square brackets makes it easier to work with when you are just starting out on nested brackets. And here's how the same problem could look in your textbook, just using parentheses. Maybe not quite as easy to see as in my worked example, but it is still just one pair of brackets inside another. And now you know, you start with the innermost brackets and work your way out. It doesn't matter what the brackets look like that are used to present the problem. I hope that's all good now, so you're ready to have a go for yourself. And always remember, keep calm and use bed mass.